Hello everybody. I am Solomon Gitacho. We start our operation management discussion. Chapter 1 management. Chapter 1 includes introduction, meaning, historical development of operation management and current trends, importance of operation management, nature scope and transformational model, and the difference between service and manufacturing. Moving forward. Before moving to the main discussion, let us have three warming up questions. The first one is, who comes to your mind when you think of successful organizations? And second one is, what is the basic reason to remind the above organizations? And the third one is, why we study operation management? Let us go to our discussion. Let's move on the discussions why we study operation management we study operation management because there are at least four reasons the first one is it is a systematic approach to organization process or it is one of the the core functions of the organization we know that an organization has three or four functions main functions that means the finance department, the marketing department, the HR department, and the operation department. So among those functions, operation is one, and that is the main cause that we study operation management. And the other is career opportunity. By studying operation management, we can expand our career opportunities. And the other is we increase the competitive advantage of the organization using operation, using operations. And the other is cross-functional application. Not only it is part of the department, the functions in the organization, but also it has a cross-functional application. That means there is a cross-linkage between operation management and the other department, like finance and marketing. In general, successful operation management co contributes substantially to the organizational success, or we increase the organization's ability to compete in the market. And this one is the news of some operations, the big, the biggest operation in the world, that, which starts the journey from China and Indies in UK, which is the longest. And for this, it is a largest operation. The Chinese conduct a large operation. And this is a introduction to operation management. Study operation management is more important than before. Why? What is the reason? Because nowadays, the rapid change of industry due to technological changes, global expansion of industries, advance in computer technology, by the way, they create an opportunity. And on the other hand, they create challenges. Nowadays, study operational management is more important than before because of this challenges are increasing recently. For example, growth of internet creates new industry, internet industry, e-commerce, but it creates also new challenges. Let us see meaning of operation management. By the way, this one is production operation management and it can be defined as the design operation improvement of the system that creates and delivers the firm's primary products and service. It is the design, we design first, we operate and we improve ultimately. Or we can define as previously, you can rem we, we remember that management can be defined into five functions, planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling, whereas production management or operation management can be defined as planning, organizing, directing and controlling the activities of production function. So we remove staffing, we remove only staffing and we capture all the remaining functions of management. Operation management is broadly used in service, whereas production management is used in manufacturing. Here is the main organization function that we discussed before, at least these are the core functions that exist 
in the organization, the finance, the operation, the marketing. So we said that operation is due to the existence of operation department in the organization. We need to study operation management and there is a cross functional application. That is, there is a linkage or there is a contact between marketing and operation, finance and operation. So why we call operation management as core function and internal function as a core function because it is among the core main functions and it is the process of producing the main products or services of the organization so we call it is core function and there is no direct relation with the external environment we call it internal functions because there is no contact there is no direct contact with external environment or it contacts to get the resource through finance and to provide the products through marketing for the customers. So there is an indirect contact. The main organization functions we stated before we discussed those and manufacturing operation is uh, a conversion process that includes manufacturing, illicit and tangible products, service operation, a conversion process that includes service. And these are the difference between goods and services in terms of these are the characteristics or the parameters in terms of customer contact. There is low contact and high contact in, in terms of services. And these are the parameters and these are the characters of goods and services. Actually, there is no sharp point that differentiate service industry and manufacturing industry. We, they are relative, so we differentiate with relative parameters. If it produces high percentage of goods and low percentage of service, we can categorize as manufacturing. And if there is low percentage of goods and high percentage of services, we can categorize as service providing company. But there is no absolute service provider and there is no absolute manufacturing company. To some extent, for the manufacturing company, there is service that provides along with the products. And for the service company, at least there is some extent of manufacturing or there is some extent of manufacturing along with the main service products. When did operation management started? You can think of these questions and we will go through. Operation in some form has been around as long as human endeavor because operation starts when the mankind starts production. The mankind starts production. Actually, the, these are the historical methods of, of production operation management. The first one is handcrafting, industrial revolution, post-civil war, scientific management, human relation, and behavioralism, operation research, and the recent one is service revolution. So these are the important milestones for operation management. The first one is just after the craft manufacturing, the mass production started and scientific management plays an important role, scientific management, which is developed by Frederick Tyler, plays an important role in mass production. And the latter, moving assembly, or which is developed by Henry Ford, also plays an important role in mass production. And the modern period operation management are technical Total quality management, e-commerce, just in time, supply chain management, PPR, enterprise resource management. You can read this or you can take a reading assignment. These are the competitive priority of operation strategies based on the timelines. By the way, in 1915, the competitive priorities are the cost. The lower cost can compete better than the higher cost. So the organizations compete due to the organization can compete with cost and later the organization competes through quality and later after that the organization 
compared with delivery and then flexibility and then service which may be after sale service and after 2000 it will be changed so source of competitive advantage here manufacture based technology minimizing cost and here value maximizing maximizing the value maximizing the service delivery here manufacture based technology and here information based technology service flexibility or information based technology these are the major factors affecting production operation management recently global competition advancement of technology service sector grows even service sector grows affects the production operation management scarcity of production resources social responsibility of issues you can answer why service sector grows affects the production operation management recently and why social responsibility issue also you can answer these questions these two questions and here is the scope of production operation management you can read by yourself and here is an important thing production operation management decision making can be categorized into three just like that of the levels of managers can be categorized into three levels top level middle level and lower level managers correspondingly the senior level managers conduct strategic or operating and control decision strategic long-term decision sorry sorry decision making in operation management can be categorized into three which is the strategic one operating and control decision the strategic one is a long-term decision which focuses mainly in products selecting product designing products selecting processes and facilities and the second one is the tactical and which is conducted by the middle level managers the intermediate term decision and it focuses mainly in planning production to meet the customer demand and the last one is which is conducted by the lower level managers it is operational planning and control which is short term decision and day to day activities of planning and controlling of the operations one is strategic or long term decision which is conducted by senior level managers and second one is tactical decisions which is practiced by middle level managers and third one is operational planning which is conducted by lower level managers or supervisory level managers ways of studying production operation management can be categorized as a system or as an organizational functions or a set of a system no 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 sorry we can study a production operation management as a system or which is a system includes input conversion process and control systems and feedbacks and outputs or as an organizational function because operation management is one of the organizational functions so we can study as a system or as an organizational function this one is operation system by the way a system takes input those inputs can be main materials machine information capitals and they are processed they are transformed into outputs either it may be products or services here is, there is product design process planning production control maintenance and this one is a control we can take feedback from products and services we can control our inventory our quality our cost this one is feedback information and this one is a dual array dual array so we take from this on and we take or either from this so it is a double direction array dual direction array this one is environment so we adjust by this feedback information we adjust our inputs based on the feedback that we get from the outputs and this one is almost 
the same with the previous one input transformation output process let us see some more detail about the process a process is a series of linked actions a series of linked actions changes or functions bring about a result three types of processes core support and managerial and this is almost the same with the previous slides actually here the important point is the transformation process is controlled by the operation managers the operation managers converts or controls the conversion process from input to the output during this conversion process the added value what value added means the difference between the cost of input here and the price of the output so this is value added so what is the value of the police what value can a police added okay this one is a transformation uh, transformational model of operation management this one is the organization or the firm so this one is a transformation process operation manager found here operation department found here and it links with a customer through marketing and it links suppliers or it gets resources through purchasing department and it can interact with finance and human resource department with to get manpower that's why we call operation department as a central as an internal functions and it can have a contact with in external environment through purchasing through other departments through other departments in general here are the challenges we previously discussed about the recent challenges the recent challenges make us make that or the recent challenges makes make that the recent challenges makes the operation management to be important studying the operation management is important due to these recent challenges recently studying operation management is far more important than before because of these challenges these are operation management activities directing design planning and developing we discussed it before and this one are almost the same with the previous slide and these are the references that you can expand your knowledge about operation management thank you for today bye see you